our uh, dear, uh, professor Atik Rahman has sir uh, we are currently studying uh, in third year uh, from in department of electrical and electronic engineering university of dhaka uh, so i would like to uh, begin my presentation now the first thing i want to talk about today is the object detection and uh, the obvious object detection means detecting objects of uh, various classes like uh, you can see their elephants uh, or you can also detect your pain or anything you want you would like to uh, it's a vast uh, or enormous sector of uh, computer vision uh, in different works are uh, being done and different uh, challenges are coming every day uh, but when it comes to det uh, detecting traffic uh, it can help our society in a uh, large scale if we look at uh, automatic uh, traffic detection the things we are missing in dhaka uh, if we can implement a successful object detection method for uh, tra 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 traffic detection or vehicle detection in dhaka city we can implement a full time traffic monitoring system we can uh, analyze the traffic pressure or automate the traffic flow control uh, we can also uh, implement uh, a smart control over roadside signals uh, we can also even detect uh, 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 vehicles that are stolen uh, that have been stolen or uh, we can also automate the driving if you look at the uh, situation current situation in dhaka uh, this uh, 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 chart is actually uh, collected from a brpa a website uh, there is a, about 39% of motor bikes and 24% of car presence uh, in the dhaka city but a very few number of pickups and buses present this uh, scenario describes that there is a huge class imbalance problem in uh, dhaka city uh, if you count the vehicles uh, the data set uh, uh, we have used the data set given for the dhaka ai competition uh, it has about 21 classes consisting uh, cars suv minivan buses and uh, different others you can look at this uh, pictures and it, it had about 3003 training images with annotations and for round one we received 500 test images uh, those were not annotated uh, we also uh, after round one we annotated them and uh, manually and we used those to train uh, to improve our results in round two we also tried increasing data and we also uh, added some uh, hand level images like uh, saved from the internet uh, those had about 272 train images uh, and it was released it was released as per the uh, rules uh, uh, declared before uh, as a dhaka traffic when we combine the two data sets uh, and uh, if you look at this uh, bar graph uh, there is a huge class imbalance problem present like uh, at first there was only about uh, three images of that had contained garbage van but uh, when we uh, uh, combined those two data sets uh, there uh, the, gar the garbage van police cars and army vehicles had about and nearly 50 images uh, but there was still a huge class imbalance problem present uh, we especially uh, uh, um, deferred the 11 minor classes because we wanted to uh, increase those uh, instances so that we can improve our results the workflow uh, at first we deleted duplicate and empty annotations uh, there were some uh, annotations in the data set that was empty and uh, was in diff uh, different formats uh, we uh, deleted those and uh, after that uh, we did our pre-processing steps uh, we resized the images because there were different resolutions of images and those could take uh, a huge number of training time and those were would not be obviously efficient so we uh, resized the images and uh, applied our different kind of uh, augmentation and then we split the data in a training and validation phase. Uh, the training set initially had about 70% images and uh, the validation phase 30% were in the validation. And then we uh, did our model training. Uh, we uh, trained our model and uh, finally we also assembled the best two models uh, to uh, increase our accuracy. And uh, after model training, uh, we also uh, uh, initially uh, tuned the hyperparameters. Uh, after the hyperparameters was uh, uh, fixed according to base results, uh, we also retrained the whole, uh, retrained the model on the whole data. Uh, in the pre-processing part, uh, we applied augmentations like split, shear, translate, total scale, and uh, random HSV on the 11 minor classes. Uh, I would like to emphasize on these 11 minor classes because uh, we uh, applying these augmentations, uh, we try to uh, reduce the class imbalance problem and uh, uh, when this, uh, this really helps uh, and uh, after the, the augmentations we also uh, applied more augmentations like dark and blur effects to generalize our model for uh, night and uh, foggy uh, situation and after uh, augment, augmentating uh, we 
उन्होंने फॉर्मेटेड एनोटेशन फ्रॉम पेस्कल पी एस टू योलो एंड रिसाइज द इमेजेस एंड बिफोर ट्रेनिंग ऑन मॉडल वी ऑल्सो शाफुल टीम if we look at this uh, uh chart uh, if we look at this graph uh, here it it is collected from papers with code uh, it, it is actually a ranking uh, it it shows the how different kinds of algorithms performed in recent years uh, the efficient jet uh, in recent years efficient jet which was released by google uh, performed the best in object detection algorithm uh, and a few months ago uh, yolo b5 uh, was released by ultralytics uh, which they uh, said that a uh, you know uh, v5 model performed uh, faster and uh, it required lesser gpu memory and it performed better than uh, different efficient jet models like d0 d1 d2 and d3 so initially we chose the yolo v5 to explore uh, we also explored uh, efficient jet but the uh, yolo v5 x model uh, apart from the uh, The Yolo B5X model we used uh, uh, was is a deep learning based uh, um, uh, object detection algorithm. Uh, the Yolo B5X model especially has uh, about uh, 335 layers, which is about 47 million of parameters and 47 million of gradients. It consists of these uh, uh, channels uh, described. Uh, after the training was done, uh, the in, uh, inference we did the inference on the testing data set. The base uh, after we Uh, after training, we ensemble the base two trained models uh, uh, and ensemble them uh, together. Uh, they ensemble the results, uh, and then we applied a test time augmentation, uh, and uh, we chose the I intersection over union threshold of 0.5 and confidence threshold of 0.5, and then we generated the annotation for the submission form. Uh, for machine specification, uh, we use Google Colab Pro, uh, which is Uh, uh, 2.3 gigahertz of processor speed, and uh, uh, the processor is the Intel R, uh, uh, Intel Xeon, and uh, it has about uh, 25 GB of RAM and the GPU of uh, uh, just uh, 16 GB, uh, which is a Tesla P100 uh, PCI. The, the training time it took uh, it took about 40 to 42 minutes per epoch, and for the final model we trained, it, uh, we trained it uh, for, for 40 epochs. It took about 26 hours. Uh, here I would like to mention that. Uh, The training was done using pre-trained words uh, from MS Coco dataset. Uh, for those who do not know MS Coco dataset, MS Coco is a huge uh, uh, object uh, image source dataset. Uh, it has about three million images of about eighty classes of objects. Uh, it is uh, uh, a benchmark uh, dataset for everyone uh, research, and it it is uh, considered to be the um, benchmark dataset of uh, object detection. And inference for case of inference are. Uh, Our model uh, uh, took about uh, um, performed about uh, four FPS, a uh, four frame per second. It uh, it could uh, annotate uh, and generate uh, results uh, for four images per second. And after the, we did the ensembling, it uh, it uh, performed in the two uh, frame per performance only. We uh, the models we tried: you will be five small, you will be five medium, you will be five large, you will be five eight, and efficient at zero, efficient at one, and efficient at two. Uh, we wanted to explore more data sets, but uh, due to the lack of time, uh, we could not explore them. And the efficient at uh, uh, higher models require very large resources, like a uh, huge number of GPU memory, so we could not explore those. But the efficient at uh, but the Yolo B5 X model, uh, we received the uh, achieved the highest accuracy. Augmentations we did. Uh, we also tried random augmentations and augmentations for minor classes. Augmentations for the minor classes uh, was uh, proved to be uh, very uh, efficient and uh, improved our accuracy. In training, we tried uh, training from scratch and uh, training from pretend uh, words. Uh, when we tried uh, training with pretend words, uh, it was faster and uh, the results were better. And in case of inference, uh, we uh, test time augmentations uh, applied. Uh, it, our model performed better and uh, when we Ensembled to uh, the base two models, uh, the accuracy also increased. Uh, but we also tried ensembling uh, three or three plus models. But it, uh, it, uh, we see that we saw that uh, when we ensemble uh, three plus models, uh, it all, all uh, it pollutes the uh, results and uh, very different uh, results. Five minutes left. Five minutes. Uh, and different results, uh, wrong results are shown and. Which really um, uh, disrupts our accuracy, so we choose to uh, ensemble only two models. If we look at this results graph, 
uh, the first uh, uh, the first uh, graph shows that the box uh, loss and the second graph shows the objectless loss and the third is uh, classification loss uh, our uh, in our training the losses uh, continue to decreasing and the precision and recall continued increasing for the training set and uh, this uh, validation box and validation object net and validation classification discuss the valid, uh, losses on the validation set uh, and mean average precision uh, on 0.5 confidence uh, continued increasing and mean average precision for, for confidence 0.5 to 0.95 uh, also continued increasing uh, we choose to uh, stop our uh, training on the uh, in, in, depending on the validation objectives uh, when the validation objectives tried increasing uh, started to increase we stopped the, our model and at that point our model performed best here is the validation and uh, training results from the base two models uh, at, at first case we, we used uh, the first uh, graph show uh, are the um, results uh, when we uh, used uh, annotated test one data for round two and the second one is uh, when we did not use uh, test one data uh, for round one uh, the model one achieved uh, about 33.03 percent of accuracy and the model two achieved 33.42 percent of accuracy but when we tried ensembling this together uh, we uh, we achieved the accuracy of 34.56 percent on the test data set two and uh, that was really uh, and uh, uh, we came out uh, on the top side. In conclusion, I, I would like to summarize uh, uh, the whole presentation that Hakai AI dataset, which is about 21 vehicle classes and 3,003 images. Uh, uh, among the, uh, all the models we tried, uh, Yola V5X model performed the base uh, and augmentation of the minor classes reduced the class imbalance problem, which uh, actually uh, increased the uh, accuracy a lot. And ensembling the basis of models also improved our results. Uh, in the round one, we achieved uh, about 21.33% of accuracy, and uh, in round two, we achieved 34.56% of accuracy. And after the testing on un uh, unreleased data, uh, test data, we, our rank was. In future, uh, we want to try uh, our different things like hyperparameter evaluation using genetic algorithm uh, uh, because uh, in, in our case we handpicked those uh, uh, hyperparameters uh, observing the results. But if we can, if we can implement uh, use three minutes left, three minutes. If we can use genetic algorithms, uh, maybe our results will further increase. And we also we also want to use focal loss to diminish the effects of class imbalance. Uh, uh, because of time shortage, we could not uh, explore more models like faster RCN and mass RCN, and which are uh, all very good uh, object detection methods. Uh, we want to try exploring those and try ensembling those with our results. Uh, see our our results. We also obviously we want to increase our uh, accuracy to match the state of the art methods, and uh, we also want to implement a, a model that can outperform those uh, state of the art methods. Uh, obviously, it's our goal. And uh, we also want to continue our work in this uh, project. And uh, if we can uh, achieve uh, noteworthy uh, results, uh, then we can. Uh, we want to publish our uh, work in a good time. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I especially I want to thank you, the Taka AI organizers, uh, for their excellent, uh, excellent cooperation uh, for this uh, last two months. Uh, we asked different questions, but they continued uh, their cooperation and uh, answered those in our Facebook or in. Uh, emails. Uh, I want to thank them, and uh, they all, I also also want to thank them for uh, bringing this uh, uh, huge topic, uh, which which can uh, help our society uh, and uh, arrange this competition. Uh, thank you, and uh, I will be receiving any questions or comments. Uh, uh, you can ask now. I, this will be very appreciated. Thank you. Yes, thank you.